Right guys, today I wanna to show you something. Couple things, actually two things, real quick and dirty, that I'm doing right now. One is doing a little quick fix to correct my beds. Now sometimes when you're doing ground level beds, as I do, because I'm in a really high and dry desert, not a lot of precipitation, I want, I'd rather have beds that are more or less on the ground level, however, they're slightly raised, so if you really want to get into semantics, you could say that these beds are semi-raised. The only reason I really like them to be semi-raised is that it just makes a clear path on uh, what is the bed, so it just makes it really obvious where the bed is. Now I'm re-prepping all of these beds. I've had a few of these tarped for a while actually, because I didn't really need to have any crops go in them right away, but now I'm getting ready to do a bunch of fall planting and I'm just correcting these beds. So all I'm doing is going through with a flat shovel and I'm just shoveling into the left bed and then into the right bed. And I'm just doing that as I go along. Now, if I was on a larger scale, I would just use the rotary plow for this. Also, I would have to have wider walkways. Typically, if you're gonna be rotary plowing your walkways, now they do this down at Steadfast Farm. If you check out this video here, this is Eric Schultz doing his walkways with this, and I've done previous videos on the BCS uh, with this before. If you just go and search BCS in my channel, and you'll find those those videos. Um, even if you search rotary plow, I think you'll find them as well. But on a small scale, these are just a couple 50 foot beds. I don't really need to bring out, I don't really want to change my implement on my BCS just to do this. It's only, it's only taken me about five, 10 minutes to do this. So it's just easier to do this with a flat shovel. Now, this shovel is perfectly 10 inches. And it's great because it's square. And so I can pretty much just by eyeballing it, looking at the shape of my bed, go down and shovel left and right, get a little bit more soil on the bed, get it out of the walkway. It's kind of over time, if you're running the tilther or the precision depth roller on your BCS, you're gonna just, a bit more dirt's gonna go into your walkways and then your walkways are gonna kind of get a little bit bumpy. And so this is just kind of a way to correct them and uh, hill up your beds a little bit. So once I'm done this, I'm just gonna run over this with a precision depth roller. I've sprinkled some of my fertilizer, my turkey manure on here. So I'm just gonna run the precision depth roller, give it a nice shallow tilth on the top inch, and then plant these beds again. So that's what's happening there. Uh, other thing I wanna show you is I've sort of found a new love for pots. Now this is more, this is more of a garden thing, but um, Got a bunch of kale and broccolinis here that I've started uh, in pots, and I'm gonna be bringing these into my nursery greenhouse. I'm gonna leave them outside for a little while because they're really liking the weather out here, lots of sun, and they kind of like the cooler weather. I've got some cilantro uh, started in here that's gonna be for the garden for the winter. And uh, I'm changing a bunch of stuff around in my nursery right now, so I'm not gonna show you that because it's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> so you'll probably see an update from that in the winter, but. Um, yeah, that's kind of what's happening around here on the farm. Just getting some of the fall crops in. Today I'm gonna to be putting in some, some spinach and arugula. And this would be the last planting of these crops I would do in the field right now this time of year. I'm expecting a colder winter. It's looking like we are going to be uh, having a colder winter, which seems to be the trend. Um, not a lot of sunspots on the sun this time and so I'm expecting that our winters are gonna get a little bit colder and so um, I think you know even this arugula planting that I'm gonna do now is is questionable but I'm actually doing it more or less just to uh, test out a new tool that uh, you'll see a video about really soon but uh, yeah as for spinach definitely could be putting more spinach in the greenhouse and my, my last planting of spinach in the greenhouse will be first and maybe second week of October and then for out in the field here, um, this would be the last 
spinach I would do in the field. But so going into a greenhouse or a caterpillar tunnel is another story. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, hit the subscribe button and the notification button next to it. And come check out one of my workshops. Last one of this year is going to be, my next five day workshop is gonna be at Tennessee, in Selmer, Tennessee at Rose Creek Farms. You'll see that in the end roll. But just announcing now, I'm gonna be down in Florida in November and I'll have some links on my website. So go to my website, theurbanfarmer.co and I'll leave a link for it in the show notes. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a series of workshops in Florida, a couple one day workshops and uh, one on the field, one at a farm. So a little bit of a unique event. Hope to see some of you guys there. All right, talk to you later. Music